So I'll lastly talk about heat recovery, uh, something I see in every school job that I do. So heat recovery is when we're taking that enthalpy from our return air or in cooling mode, we're taking the sparsity of the enthalpy from the return air and we're using it to our advantage in loads. We're grabbing the heat energy off of that air, transferring it by the rotation of this heat wheel to the air intake side and eventually the supply uh, air to our space, okay? So for sensible and latent energy recovery, we can use energy recovery wheels and we can use plate heat exchangers. We have enthalpic plate heat exchangers that will do both ends of the energy, uh, both latent and sensible. Most of the time, most people probably see plate heat exchangers as a sensible only uh, type of energy recovery. The important notes about these uh, recovery options are contamination. With energy recovery wheels, I'm going to see some cross contamination of the exhaust airstream with the supply airstream, which may or may not be a concern for you dependent upon your application. That cross contamination drops significantly when I move to a plate heat exchanger and goes to zero when I'm using a runaround coil. The only catch, the runaround coil is the least effective. Payback takes a number of years. Okay, well, that's the end of the presentation, and I'll go ahead and do some questions here.